the initial post. I'm struggling to even write this. After 17 years of marriage, my world has completely shattered. At 43, I never imagined I'd be in this position. I work as a manager for an automotive store. My job sometimes required that I travel, usually two, three days at a time, twice a month. Not ideal, but it provided well for our family. My wife started teaching yoga at a local studio three years ago. She'd always been into fitness, so this seemed natural. The extra income wasn't necessary, but she enjoyed the social aspect and having her own thing. Last month, I noticed subtle changes, new clothes, different perfume, more time on her phone. She'd angle the screen away when I walked by, classic signs I chose to ignore. Then came the business trip to Detroit. I was supposed to be gone for three days. The second meeting got canceled, so I flew home early. Big mistake. I pulled into our driveway at 1 p.m. on a Wednesday. Her car was there, which was odd since she usually taught classes until 4. Another vehicle I didn't recognize was parked down the street. The front door was unlocked. I heard noises from upstairs. You know that feeling when your stomach drops and your throat closes up? Yeah, that. Found her with one of her students, young guy, probably mid-twenties. They were both scrambling for clothes when I opened the bedroom door. I just turned around and walked out, drove to a hotel. She called 47 times that night. When I finally answered, she confessed everything. It wasn't just a student. She'd been sleeping with the studio owner too. Both affairs had been going on for months. Her excuses were pathetic. She felt neglected because of my travel schedule. The attention from younger men made her feel alive again. She didn't mean for it to happen. I have contacted a divorce attorney, moved into a furnished apartment, told our adult children, 21 and 19, the truth when they asked why I left. The yoga studio drama exploded when everything came out. Both men were married. Their wives found out. The whole community knows now. I'm done. 17 years mean nothing when trust is shattered this completely. The first update. It's been three weeks since D-Day. The divorce proceedings are moving forward. My attorney says my wife's infidelity makes this pretty straightforward in our state. Although I didn't have any kind of video proof, all of the voicemails and text messages were enough. The yoga studio shut down. Turns out the owner's wife owned half the business. She fired everyone and closed the doors. My wife's reputation in our small community is destroyed. Both affair partners' marriages are ending too. Three families blown up because of selfish choices. She's staying with her sister now, keeps sending long emails and text messages about therapy and reconciliation. I haven't responded to any of them. Our kids are handling this better than expected. They're angry at their mother, but trying to maintain relationships with both of us. I'm proud of their maturity. Work has almost kept my mind off of this whole ordeal. Threw myself into new projects. My boss has been understanding. Reduced my travel temporarily while I sort everything out. Reducing my stress level. The apartment feels empty, but it's peaceful. No more checking phones or wondering about suspicious behavior. Just quiet clarity. Yesterday, I ran into the studio owner's wife at the grocery store. We had coffee, shared war stories. There's something comforting about talking to someone who really understands. The divorce should be final in four months. My lawyer says my wife's trying to delay, but it won't work. The evidence is too clear. Some days are harder than others, but I haven't once considered taking her back. That door is closed forever. The second update, two months post D-Day, life has settled into a new routine. Found out more details about the affairs. They started nine months ago, around the time I got promoted and my travel increased. The studio owner initiated things first, private training sessions after hours. Then the student joined the picture three months later. They all knew about each other. My wife's sister kicked her out last week. Apparently, she tried to reconnect with one of the affair partners. The sister was disgusted 
and told her to leave. She's spiraling, lost her job. Obviously, most friends have cut contact and her family is disappointed. She's facing consequences for the first time. The divorce proceedings continue. She's fighting for more assets now, claiming her mental state led to poor decisions. My lawyer says it won't fly. Our kids spent Christmas with me, first holiday season alone in decades. We ordered Chinese food and watched bad movies. It was different, but good. I've started therapy, not to save the marriage. That's over. But to understand why I ignored the red flags for so long, the other betrayed spouses, and I have formed an unofficial support group. We meet for coffee every couple weeks, share updates, offer encouragement, moving forward one day at a time. The pain isn't as sharp now, more like a dull ache that fades a little more each week. The third update. Four months later, the divorce is almost final. My ex-wife showed up at my apartment last night, drunk, crying, begging for another chance. I closed the door and called her sister to pick her up. The studio owner moved away. His ex-wife bought a new building and opened her own fitness center. She's doing well. The student's wife is expecting their first child. She's raising it alone. He took a job in another state as I heard he was trying to avoid child support. What a dumb ass. That won't stop child support. My daughter graduated college last week. Both parents attended, sitting on opposite sides of the auditorium. She handled it with grace. Work offered me a promotion. Less travel, more responsibility. Fresh start at the headquarters 35 minutes away. I accepted. The support group continues to meet. We're all at different stages of healing, but moving forward. Some are dating again. I'm not ready. My ex keeps trying to accidentally run into me around town. Can't wait to move and not deal with that anymore. Looking back, I'm grateful for how clear the discovery was. No gaslighting or trickle truth could hide what I saw that day. The fourth and final update. Six months post D-Day. This will be my last update. The divorce is final. Signed the papers yesterday. Felt nothing but relief. Moving to the new city next week. The condo is perfect, modern, clean. No memories. My ex-wife sent a final letter. I opened it, counted 20 pages of explanation and apology. I shredded it after reading the first page. Both of Fair Partner's divorces are final too. The owner's ex-wife's new studio is thriving. The student's ex is due next month. Our kids are adjusting well. They split holidays between us, but make their own schedules now. Adults making adult decisions. The support group threw me a goodbye dinner. Strange how strangers brought together by trauma can become such good friends. Started dating recently. Nothing serious. Just coffee and conversation learning to trust again slowly we had a rental that had tenants in it we had to sell it as part of the divorce my ex moved in with a cousin two towns over not my problem anymore life feels lighter now like i've shed a heavy weight i didn't know i was carrying now i can move on with my life and build a better version of myself life is too short to not be happy